Um, the, the subtitle of this year is Are All Spouses Stupid? And I'm sure as a spouse, you might be wondering that yourself, you know? Are all women or men as stupid as my husband or wife? Right? Hopefully, you know, we get to a point we shouldn't ask that question, but I once heard from a very prominent uh, psychologist, his name, he was a Tversky, uh, Rabbi Dr. Yitzhak Tversky, he said about a certain uh, thing, he said, men, husbands, um, have a chance, they can be educated. You know, they are stupid, but they can be educated. Right? And it seems that men are particularly stupid on an emotional level, right? Their EQ doesn't meet women's. By women, it says an interesting thing. The Gemara says an interesting thing. It says in two places that women are kalidas. Kalidas. Daitin kalos. Right? Women are kalidas. And I once, when I was a bacher, I was by Rebbe Heller. Her husband was working in our yeshiva. And she said, women are not stupid. They have bini yisera, right? They're kalidas bini yisera. What does this mean? What does it mean that women have kalidas? And what does it mean that they have bini yisera? Um, so this, I'm going to go a little bit into Kabbalah now. Just a tiny job. I think this is very important, uh, Isotis, to know. But das is made up of two parts. Right? That's what's called in Kabbalah uh, chasadim and gvuros. You ever heard that term? Chasadim and gvuros? Ah, you heard it? Chasadim and gvuros? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> chasadim and gvuros. Chasadim, we, maybe we spoke about this before. Gvuros is like, when we feel like really agitated, that's coming from gvuros. And we feel like really calm and just want to do chesed for people in this. That's called um, chisad, uh, chasadim, right? And das is, is the composite of these two things together, right? And that's how you make decisions. You say, this, this no, the, the gvurs pushes away and the chesed brings it in, and it makes a combination which is called das, where right? you can make a decision. This I should do, this I shouldn't do, you know. I was once addressing a group of women, and I told them, you know, men are supposed to take out the garbage. You know why? Because a woman, she has to take out the garbage. She says, should I wear this dress, this? Should I wear this soon? Like, it's going to take her a long time. Women have a hard time making decisions, yeah? At least um, historically. And um, because of this Indian. Not because they're stupid. Because their colleague does. They have more Bina, right? Bina is, is they have an overload, as it were. I shouldn't say overload. But they, they have more Gvuras, yeah? So Gvuras, oh, it gives us emotion. It gives us agitation. It gives us... So women have more gvuras than men, yeah? Men have more of a balance. So what gvuras are very good for bina. Right? We spoke about positive agitation in Gemara, right? A person gets agitated, he wants to find an answer, and that pushes him to find the answer. So women have more of that, you know, uh, gv- bina, gvuras. Bina comes from gvuras. Bina is like the 50 questions you ask, right, before you get started. Right? That women are very strong in. Das, they're weaker in. Right. So now, once you know that, yeah. So now, once you have that, like really firmly implanted in your mind and your heart, so it's a lot easier to deal with your marriage because if you see, like, you know, he says in the um, Venetian Dictionary, um, Mr. Um, Gray, Mr. John Gray, um, who's been divorced eight times even after he wrote that book, but Chachman Bagoyim Tam, and it's tremendous Chachman in that book. In the Venetian Dictionary, he says. You know, if you walk in and your wife says, you know, you hate me, as does everyone else's world, it means I had a hard day. You know, you have to know how to translate it. Because women have gvuros, because they have extra gvuros, they have bini sera, extra gvuros, so they'll speak in a more passionate way because the, the gvuros push them to be more passionate. Yeah? Um, men who have less gvuros, they might think, wow, does she, if she takes that literally, takes it literally, so it could be very distressing, you know, to be told that you hate um, your wife. But, again, you need to buy um, a Venetian dictionary. If you don't buy one, but at least know that such a thing exists. And um, I, um, I asked somebody on Shabbos, I was walking to the cold cell, maybe um, you, know, you want to come with me, to walk with me. And his wife told him, yeah, go. You know, I said, oh yeah, that means don't go. Right. So you have to, the tone of voice in that. Okay, that's as far as, as women go, we said about women. So just people shouldn't think that I'm, uh, what are they called? Prejudiced? Biased against? But, you know, so if you think your wife is stupid, so you're making a mistake. She just has Bini Isera Kali Das. And the truth is the same thing by men. You know, as, as we said from Dr. Ruski, men can be educated, right? The goal of a man in marriage is to become sensitized to a woman's um, imbalance of gvuros, 
right? I shouldn't say imbalance because they have the proper balance for a woman. Um, and the goal of a woman is to become sensitized to a man's, you know, balance, as it were, of, uh, of chasanim and gvuras. And each one can gain tremendous amount. The woman can gain tremendous amount by uh, coming towards the man's, you know, balance and seeming insensitivity, right? And the, the man can gain a tremendous amount by coming towards his wife seeming, you know, over passion and overreaction, right? And both of them coming together. So the answer, are all spouses stupid? The answer is yes and no, right? right? Really, stupid is not the right word. All spouses are different, right? And it's interesting, Dr. Tversky noted once, he said that um, <coughs> the more a person has to work on things, right, the more difference generally there'll be from the spouses because they have to bring themselves together, right? So if you see your spouse is like very, very different from you on extreme, so that means just you need a lot more to come to the middle. You know, I always say, my Shadchan, um, Rav David Cohen, who Rav Shach said is the next God Lador for our generation. So he put me together with my wife, who's from Rio de Janeiro, and it's very, Rio de Janeiro, I always use the example, right? My brother-in-law told me he was in a restaurant. After three hours, they didn't bring the food and like nobody cared, right? In New York, after three minutes, they're banging on the table already. So in marriage, that could be challenging, you know? And it was, you know, for 25, 30 years or so. It was very challenging. But until I finally realized, like, oh, you know, and I started giving these sherem, and I realized, you know, it's all good. And it's for a reason. And um, I stopped being so stupid. Baruch Hashem. In any event, the point here is that if you think your spouse is stupid, you might want to reevaluate the situation and just realize maybe it's Bini Yisera, uh, Kali Das, and maybe your husband has more Das than Bina, and just work together and try to be understanding. And Bezrat Hashem will be Zoyche, not to get angry, and to work together, and every marriage should be Matzleach, Amen, Ken Ratzon.